Sometimes you might need to display a large set of data in such a way that the user can scroll and view each item. I'm sure you've come across this. For example, how you see posts on Instagram or users on WhatsApp. In that case, you might need to use the recycler view. Now, there are several different components that work together to display your data in a recycler view. The recycler view fills itself with views provided by a layout manager. You can use the linear layout manager or the grid layout manager or even implement your own but it's common to use the linear or grid the views in the list are represented by view holder objects so what are these view holder objects these objects are instances of a class you would actually define the class would extend the recycler view view holder class each view holder is in charge of displaying a single item within a view. In common lesson, our recycler view will show a list of programming languages. So you can say each programming language is displayed using a view holder. As the user is scrolling through the list, the recycler view takes the views that are off the screen and rebinds them to data which is scrolling onto the screen. So how does each view holder object get its data to display? The view holder objects are managed by an adapter. This adapter binds the view holders to their data. The adapter assigns the view holder to a position and uses the view holder's position to determine what content should be displayed. So for example, if I say the first language to be displayed is Java, that means the first view holder to come up will display Java. In the next lesson, I will demonstrate all this theory by actually creating a recycler view that displays a list of programming languages. Don't worry, it will be much clearer then.